Welcome to the channel, Ajayden Chase, and these are some of the top stories making headlines today. No nation, Russian Barnett and his attorneys are now angry that the Indicom interview was made public. And based on the interview, citizens are stating that Barnett is indeed seen and should stand trial and face the full weight of the law. Now, based on the medical report, it also seems as if Barnett was lying. And there is no proof that he suffered any bodily harm while in the custody of law enforcement. I am going to see the interview and they will continue the reasoning. Look and listen. You have to come out on the line and sign it. You, you, you. So, me, no, not him. So, Dr. Cook, if they are, Mr. Barnett is going to be taking off his shirt first. Okay, so can you go that put on in the corner there? No, come this side. Let me come this side. You go that side. Yeah. Please take off your shirt, sir. Can you remove the head tag? remove your shoes and your pants. The only thing you should have on is your brief. Dr. Cook, you direct where you want to see first. Stand against this wall with your back to this wall. With back, your back, back to, to the wall. wall. Hold your head up so we can examine your neck. Hold your head up so we can examine your neck. Your chest. Turn and face the wall. Do you understand? My name is Dr. Cook. I am a medical doctor and a justice of the peace. With me, Justice Clonis and two other justices, Justice Jordan, Jordan Simpson. Simpson. We are here to protect your rights. We are here to listen to you to ensure that any claims you have about your rights being breached are addressed. Yes? You need to tell me the challenges that you have had since you've been in the cell. Yeah, you know, most definitely. It's just that what my report still like whenever my doctor, the police and the police them about the pain of my family and waste of my stuff. None of them now they listen to me. And this pain is not a pain that is new since you have been in London. You have had this pain before? Yeah, before. Were you seeing a doctor for this pain before? No. And why is that? I don't know, whenever I take it that serious still, but it keeps on and off with me. Okay, all right. Now, I want to ask you, have you been hit by any police officer since you have been in this locker? No, I've never been hit by none of them still, but I only check them, check them, see them, keep them in the body and them stuff. Eh? We have, you have been threatened, Yeah. but you have not been hit. No. So there is no place on your body where you would have any evidence of being hit. No. Say again. No, no hit. No hit. Police have not hit you. No. Okay. So you have had a pain before. You weren't taking it seriously. And you're now saying to the police officers that you have this pain that you have is still there. Yes? Yeah, definitely. You didn't seek medical attention for it before this incident. No. And you had it prior to this incident. Yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So there's no reason or need for you to show me anywhere on your person because you have not been hit. Or is there a reason to show me? No, I've never been hit. It's just that, like, I hear someone definitely have been pain around here, so, but never been pain or no, no, no. This like pain that. is a pain that you've had before you came to lock up. Yeah, before. Okay. Does this pain cause you to have, does it run down that leg? Does it cause your foot to hurt you? Yeah, like the, the foot 
can't really stress out, stretch out away. Okay. But most of all, I just up at them places, the lowest. Up at them places, you have yeah. to tell me what the place yeah. is. The lowest. Like Your lowest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have you been hit by any prisoners? No. no. You have not been hit by any prisoners? Not, no, not been hit by any prisoners. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, Mr. Barnett, as I spoke to you yesterday and I, I told you that. Uh, we're going to get pictures. Yesterday I took some pictures, but I've now been instructed for you to, uh, we're to take pictures of everywhere while Dr. Cook examines you. The only place we're not going to be taking is your genital area. But your back, your arms, your legs, all of that will be photographed. Do you have a problem with that? No. Okay. So, time to remove your shirt. Yes, you need to. Um, the uncle. Do you have the key, officer? Can I get the uncle please? Sure, the uncle Officers are here and the uncle will be taken off and we will be. Yes, Nation, and of course, law enforcement has denied, refuted all claims made by the accused, saying that first and foremost, law enforcement followed the law to the T. They made arrangements that Barnett would be housed separately, that there would be no incidents between him and any inmates. Why then, with law enforcement, knowing that the reason for his special housing was to protect him from being or making the claims that bodily harm took place while he was in the care of the state. We don't think them that do that. It's simple. If they don't want him to get it fixed, then put him in our cell with other people and then a day after them come move him and truth be told that wasn't the case donation talk to me tell me you feel if you feel like based on the interview and the way him answer the question then him seem to be in him right mind it seems as if this is a criminal who with this case becoming one of the most discussed criminal cases or say being discussed on the island we won't talk about the gruesome nature of the crime itself we can't stop stress our state the age of the victims involved there's no way we can go around the family ties within this case itself two cousins some have stated that barnett's mother has still not contacted kamisha Kamisha's mother. We don't know if it's a fact that she didn't even know what to say. Based on the fact that now enough evidence is now out there to support the claims that this is the only suspect. There are no other suspects. This is the person who is now in custody, whose bail was denied, who weapons with his prints were recovered. We don't see no way where Barnett could have even beat these charges. Now, people as a human rights groups or say a lobby across the island seem to be getting their jobs wrong. And the fact that the rights of citizens, law abiding citizens, which is to live in a safe society without the fear of, you know, running into violent criminals on a daily basis. That's a right of the citizens too. As you know, these groups, these lobby groups, mostly find themselves in situations where the people who they are defending are either accused criminals or convicted ones. Definitely a situation. What do you think about capital punishment? Do you think that the statement being made by the state that this individual or the fact that 
prosecutors have stated that they must seek the death penalty, knowing that if it takes over five years, it will be unlawful. Do you think with that in mind, they must have said this? Or because at one point, Barnett had no legal counsel. No, things have changed. And his family has indeed retained legal counsel for him. We are pointing out talk about the Indicom video, stating that now that the Indicom video is public, it has already swayed the minds of everybody involved in the case. Remember, it seems as if their primary defense was going to be the fact that Barnett was not mentally capable of standing trial, which the interview just debunked and has proved otherwise. Now, as it pertains to the accusations he made against law enforcement, which have been denied and refuted, and clearly there is no medical report to support Barnett's claims. They should talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. If you're new to the channel, just a pass through. Well, first and foremost, click the subscribe icon. Yes, then the bell icon. Of course, put it on all. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform, the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and boss a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them. So check out the channel. Check out the reason. Join the discussion. The comment section on 24-7. It never lock yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments, and yes, your opinions are there. And we can continue reasoning via the comment section now until the reason again my sentiments for you and yours i'm gonna live love and prosper stay tuned